welcome to guide tutorials and in this video i'll be doing an example on the similar triangles so given this question and so given this triangle with values or lengths and we are asked to find the lengths of x and y so just so we are able to see what's going on you can just redraw the triangle or flip it just so you actually see it in the orientation which you're usually used to seeing it. So you're gonna have y, you're gonna have five, then you're gonna have p, s to four, you have q at the top, and on this side you're gonna have your r, three, t, x. So the first thing you'll notice is that you have parallel lines and you know that you have a theorem that says if a line is parallel to one side of a triangle, then it divides the other two sides proportionally. So you can just say QS divided by SP should be equal to QT divided by TR. And the reason for that would be that you have TS parallel to RP and therefore you're applying the proportional theorem or proportionality theorem. <coughs> Excuse me. So now that we have that out of the way, you can just say 4 divided by, so substituting the value from QS and SP, which are the values that you actually have, and your QT is X and your TR is 3. So you can therefore find the value of X by multiplying through, so you multiply 3 by 4 over 2 to find the value of X, and you should get a value of 6 as your X, so 6 units, as the value for the length of x so basically found one part of the question or basically solved one part of the question which was x but we aren't done we have to move on to y now we can't simply conclude that y has the same ratio as this triangle so we have a small triangle qts and have a bigger triangle qrp and for Q, Q here, we have 4 plus 2 on this side, which is 6. Then you have X plus 3. We found X to be 9, which is that. And here you have Y. On this side, you have 4, you have 5, and you have your X value, which is 6. Now, because the other two sides are proportional, you can't conclude that the, the last part is also proportional. You can, right now, that is at our current state of, of solving this problem, you can only conclude that all of the sides are proportional if the triangles are similar. So let's go ahead and see if you can actually prove that these two triangles are similar. So we're looking at triangle Q, T, S, and triangle, also looking at triangle Q, R, P, right? So at first, we're going to say Q is equal to Q because this is a common angle to both of them. So common angle. Then we're going to say, if you look here, you have a parallel line. So this and that are corresponding angles. And this and that are also corresponding angles. So you can basically say that your angle T from QTS is equal to your angle R from QRP. And the reason for that would be corresponding angles, corresponding angles, because ST is parallel to RP. And we can say the same thing for angles S in QTS and angle P. So you can say the same thing. So angle S is equal to angle P, corresponding angles. Angles because we have ST parallel to RP. Right? Now that we have that, we can therefore conclude that triangle QTS is similar to triangle QRP. And the reason for that would be angle, 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 which you can also denote as angle, angle, angle. Right? So we've, we've proved, uh, we just proved that the angles of the two triangles are equal. And there's a theorem that says, Equiangular triangles, um, 
angular triangles are basically so to prove similarity you have to prove that all the angles are similar right are, are equal that is so now that we have that out of the way we know that this is the case and the two triangles are similar now there's another theorem that says two equiangular triangles are similar and they are sides their sides are basically proportional so that is that is another theorem which we're going to use to actually answer the question now that we proved that so using another theorem i think i called it theorem two i think i called it theorem two if you look back to my previous videos so it basically says that two equiangular so two equiangular triangles that are so two equiangular triangles are similar and their corresponding sides are proportional so from this information we can come to the two triangles over here and say that the ratio of let's say qt divided by qr which is the corresponding side on the other side so this corresponds with that that corresponds with that and that corresponds with that so qt divided by qr is basically equals to any other side or any other pair of sides that correspond and now we're interested in finding y so let's basically take that one which is ts and divided by rp and rp is equals to y so now we're interested in finding rp and therefore rp will be equals to ts multiplied by qr divided by qt and the answer to that would be so what is the value of ts the value of ts is 5 so you can say rp which is the same as y is equals to ts 5 multiplied by qr and qr is over here which is 9 divided by qt which is on that side and that is six so over here we have a value of so here you can just cancel this divide by three have two divided by three you have three over there then you have a value of so this is 2.5 multiplied by three which is 7.5 and that should be your answer for y so basically found x using the fact that the two sides are proportional because of the parallel line and we concluded or we found that the small triangle was equals to or was similar sorry was similar to the bigger triangle and after making that conclusion we know that similar triangles have proportional corresponding sides so after doing the proportion of each of the sides we can actually find that the last side of that triangle with a value y and the value of y is 7.5 so i hope you're following along and that is all i had to talk about in this video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if anything is unclear please leave a comment if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video